sharing too much too soon, sharing too little because you're closed up, letting other people make decisions for you, the inability to say no without feeling the need to make the explanation. Those are just a few things of unhealthy characteristics of not good boundaries, right? That's an unhealthy boundary right there. So we're going to talk about it, right? So let's, so let's kind of jump into that, right? Like <clears throat> you have to understand a healthy boundary. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. I know it's like I'm beating a dead horse over here, but you got to, you got to get it and it's going to keep happening until you integrate it. And you have to realize that just because somebody doesn't like what's being said or they feel some kind of way, you are not responsible for their feelings. They're not responsible for yours either. Okay, but you are responsible for protecting your space and your peace. And if you're not protecting your space and your peace, then you're not respecting your own boundaries. Okay, and like another thing, right, is hold on, what do you want? Hold on, what are you doing? Anyway, so here's the thing with, with the overall thing of boundaries. If you are going to say that you are protecting your peace, that means you can say no with no follow-up. Hey, can you come here? No, thank you. Or no, I can't. That's it. See, you're going to say, oh my God, but I don't want to seem rude. Um, over explaining to give somebody tools to now utilize that against you to now change it to try to work around your why no that ain't good okay you may be perceived as rude you may be perceived as extra whatever the case may be when you start getting your boundaries you're gonna have to be okay with that if you're not okay with that then you're not okay with the boundaries people don't overstep boundaries they attempt but they can't overstep a boundary if you are holding a boundary that you believe in which means you also don't overshare to kind of go hand in hand with that extra explanation behind the no, you'll need to over share everything. Everybody doesn't need to know everything. And then you have to be careful of going completely in the opposite direction and being like, I have a wall up. I'm not going to let anybody in. Neither one of those are good. Gray area, 50 shades, pick one, right? And then the way people treat you, if you look at yourself and you identify with that and you say, this is my identity, uh-uh, people can't People are going to treat you incorrectly at times. I'm not going to lie to you. That is going to happen. But you can't control their narrative. You can't try to understand their why, but you can control the role in which they play in your life. Right? Characteristics of good boundaries is no complete sentence of sticking to your own time boundaries. I'm, I can come over for an hour and 45 minutes and you leave at the hour and 45 minutes, regardless of the manipulation tactics. To, to hold a boundary is spatial boundary, right? That's like physical boundary, emotional boundary, financial boundary, communication boundary, things like that. Fa oh, believe me, financial boundary is very important um, because you don't just loan money to people. You don't just do those things and people can't make you feel bad for what you're spending. So you also have to keep in mind if somebody goes, oh my God, I can't believe you spent $1,500 on a new bag. Okay, who cares? You know, that's what I'm saying. Your boundaries have to be in a space where you say to somebody, I am not allowing myself to be spoken to that way. That's a legitimate boundary. I am not, a, I do not, not I am not. I do not allow myself to be spoken to that way. Or I do not allow myself to engage in conversations where I'm being spoken to in this fashion. That's it. And then you walk away or you hang up the phone. That's what I mean. A boundary has to be clear. It has to be concise and it has to be consistent. If you are not practicing consistent boundaries, people will not consistently think that you're going to practice them. Then you're the little boy who cried wolf. But know that if you're trying to walk around people pleasing everybody, you don't have boundaries. And you can't people please people because people can only be good if they're in a good space. And sometimes they're not. And then you're going to constantly be walking around trying to dot everybody's I's and cross everybody's T's. Not a thing. Okay? So you want to focus on accepting that your boundaries are going to make people not feel great. And that's okay. Flip side of that. Everything I'm saying to you also pertains to you. 
So if somebody's boundary isn't something that you agree with or you like, it doesn't matter. You don't have to rock with them, but you don't get to sit there and try to dissect it. So anything that I ever say to you guys will always pertain the other side, yin and yang, 50-50. It's not just, hey, this is how people deserve to treat you, and then you just go do whatever you want. It's not going to work that way. So a big part of you having healthy boundaries is respecting somebody else's boundaries, even if you don't understand them.